Good. Hi everyone. We are going to be working on pop-up cards. I'm going to teach you some basics of popping um, up a card with flowers on it. We have Mother's Day coming up and I'm going to teach you the basics for that. But you could change up um, what you put on them instead of flowers. You could put really anything as creative as you want to get. You're going to need some construction paper and markers, scissors, pencils, and glue. We are going to start with some folding. So with my blue paper and my green paper, I'm gonna begin by folding the blue paper in half, horizontal. Sometimes we call that a hamburger fold. And the card front will be right here. I could glue some more flowers and decorate it. Or again, if you know you want it to be an ocean picture with some fish, you could do that. And then when the card is opened, um, right here. We also have Father's Day around the corner. You could um, put some tools um, that maybe dad works with or cars if he's into that. Again, a lot of different ideas. With the green paper, I'm gonna fold the green paper in half horizontal, just like I did with the blue paper, and open it up. So I'm gonna set the blue paper aside, and the green paper is going to be the background for um, the pop-up. Again, you can change the colors depending on what your main idea is. With my green paper, I'm gonna cut off the corners and just give it kind of an organic shape. There's so with this shape, there's really no wrong way or right way to do it. I just was cutting off the corners. I'm gonna save those for the leaves um, that will be attached to the stems. Now on the fold, which is the tricky part, is where we're gonna make our cuts to pop up um, the stems of the flower. So taking your pencil, you're going to put four fingers and make a mark. And you're gonna draw the line out about maybe the length of your pinky. We'll use our hand as measurements. So I'm just gonna bring that line out to my pinky. Then I'm gonna set my finger down and I'm gonna make another line and I'm gonna bring it out to match the same height. You could use a ruler if you want. Repeating, finger space, and going same length. Repeat. So right now I have one, two, three, four lines. I'm gonna repeat again. Five. And so I have five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And looking at the space here, and the space here, I have more space here. So I'm gonna go back and add one more line which gives me six lines, and that's gonna give me three pop-up flowers. So on the fold, I have one, two, three, four, five, six lines that are about the length of my pinky with a finger space in between. Now I'm gonna take my scissors, and again, it's super important you're on the fold, and I'm gonna cut to the line. Okay, so now I have all of the lines cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold them back to create a crease. Press that down. So again, fold back all of them.
And now I'm gonna flatten them back, open up my card, and what I'm gonna do, this is the tricky part, is I'm gonna take that fold, which if we look, is kind of like a V, and I'm gonna reverse it. So, folding it on the other side, and press down. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna glue. So we're gonna get the blue, which is gonna be our background, and our blue has a fold, and we're gonna get the fold of the green paper to match and glue down. And we're gonna put glue everywhere except, so the glue will go everywhere except for these little tabs. And you can already see them wanting to pop up. You can use a glue bottle, I'm gonna use a glue stick. Now I can pop up my steps. I'm gonna have two that are back and three that pop up. And fold that down. And there's your pop up. So again, you could, we're gonna make flowers because Mother's Day is around the corner. Again, you could change it You and do fish, you could do cars, you could do anything that you can think of. So I'm gonna set this aside and get my white paper and I'm gonna um, draw some flowers. Now planning ahead, I'm gonna want some flowers in the front, the background, maybe on the bottom. I could put some on the front of the card as well. Okay, now I have my flowers and I have about a dozen flowers. A dozen flowers is 12. And now I'm gonna cut out all my flowers and glue them up. Okay, now I have all my flowers cut out. I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna glue some flowers. Now, I don't want to glue them to the top because then when I open it, the flowers don't look right. You have to glue them on the front. So opening up, putting a little bit of glue on the back of the flower and I'm gonna fold it on the bottom of the line. So when it opens up, it looks like that. 
Watching again, glue goes on the back of the flower. Here's the folded line, the bottom of the folded line goes the flower. So I have my three pop-up flowers and now I can put flowers in the front and the back. And I saved three flowers for the front so I can close my card. Again, putting the glue on the back of the flower. And now I'm gonna go set my card aside to dry and go back and get the green scrap paper to make the leaves that get attached to the stem of the flower making a straight line and the letter V and then I can make an oval shape around my leaf. I'm gonna make about three of those. Now you can make more if you wanted and glue them behind your flowers. So you can go to the back and do another set. So three on the front, three on the back, three plus three is six. I'm getting some math in our art today. Now cut them out and glue them. Okay, now I have my leaves cut out and I'm gonna take and put a little glue behind them and I can stick my leaves by some of the flowers that are on the ground that aren't popping up or I can put them on the stem of the ones that do pop up. And I kind of like how they pop up outside of the green border, but it's your card and it's up to you. You could always go back if you really like the leaves and make, make them for all of them. In the example I showed you here, I took some white paper and I just cut out um, a heart or you could cut out any shape and write a message to mom or whomever you're gonna give the card to. Um, you can write to and address it on the front and again write mom or whomever and then always write from and your name. So I hope you enjoyed making a pop-up card and for those of you that are making it for Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all those moms out there. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and always be creative. See you next time.